RP Pandas. This is Grace. And this is Harper. Today is National Donut Day, and it's always celebrated on the first Friday in June. Isn't it awesome that we have a day to honor this yummy treat? My favorite kind of donut is glazed. I love s'more donut. I love s'mores donut. Donuts are made of dough that's been deep fried in oil. They're usually shaped like a ring with a hole in the middle. Some donuts don't have a hole and these are filled with cream or jelly. You can also get donut holes. When donuts were first brought to America, they were called oily cakes since they were cooked in oil. The original donuts didn't have holes like we have today. When these cakes were taken out of the oil, many times the center was not cooked all the way through. First, nuts were shoved in the middle of the donut. That's where the name donut came from, to avoid having an having uncooked center. Then some someone came up with the idea to get rid of the gooey center altogether. So a hole was poked out of the middle, which helped the donuts fry more evenly. During World War One, workers from the Salvation Army would serve sh soldiers donuts and coffee. This was a friendly reminder of home and would cheer them up. Many of those supporting the soldiers were women and they were called the Salvation Army Donut la Lassies. Americans love donuts. Over 10 billion donuts are made every year. Many are covered in a glaze or icing. Some are some are covered with sprinkles or p with powdered sugar or covered with cinnamon and sugar. Other popular toppings are coconut, chopped up peanuts, and sprinkles. You can buy donuts just about everywhere, like bakeries, grocery stores, gas stations, and coffee shops. People will eat donuts for breakfast, but others will have them as a dessert. I like to eat mine for breakfast with orange juice. So pandas, have your favorite donut today or this weekend, if you can, to celebrate this national holiday. Other ideas to bring a dozen donuts to a nursing home or to a fire or police station or to a friend just to be kind. We're signing off from the PNN News. Have a fun-filled Friday and a wacky weekend, Park You Pandas. Now let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye. Bye.